No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. I'm in here with my man Remo, and today we're having a conversation with MAF Tiski. Getting into some real Chicago lore right here. So this is interesting, though, because you've been around for a minute, but now it's kind of like you're having a whole little career resurgence right now. Yeah. So how are you sure. feeling right now? You feeling good? It's not supposed to happen. You're supposed yeah. to only be new one time. Yeah, yeah. I feel great. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I do feel like I got recreated. This show, like, I'm on some old different, you know, like, mind-wise, all type of shit. I come different. Come trim with everything I do. I've been like that, though. You know? Uh, shit. I had a little run. I feel like my first run, my behavior, I don't know shit. Mm. I didn't want shit. I, was, I went to prison, all type of shit. Off of like a lot of like fame and views and a lot of shit that get to my head. I was a kid, I was like 18, you feel me? Mm. My first show I'm up at that bitch did like 400,000, like 300, 400,000. It's called Dirty Cup. Uh-huh. Like it went viral around the city, it just never got out the city. Right. You know? it's, it's interesting though because like all right, I got hit up by uh, one of my loyal AR homies, my boy Eli. Excellent A and R, my boy, very trustworthy guy, great man to know. And uh, he hit me up. He sends me a name. He's like, "I got this this artist. I want you to interview him." And so I'm I'm checking it out, but I'm thinking it's gonna be like some new kid that just came out or whatever. Because normally when he signs an artist, they're kind of like just coming up. And then we start digging into it, and I'm like, "Oh, shit, he had a Zach TV interview, so he had a whole career arc before this current arc that he's on right now." Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool. Zach TV on um, that. I met, I seen this ass in the shoe store like that day. Really? Yeah, like random as hell, man. Me and Fona, we had to do like a little party on her. Like we was in school and shit, you know? Uh-huh. We was on break and shit. We was dry as hell. We was all in the group chat. It was like 15 us and that And we just was like, like MAF. It was the whole MAF and that you know? Uh-huh. Like that's before school game. Like I'm MAF school game, so like. Okay. Like basically, when you just S-C-O-O-M said S C O O M for the people out there, S C O M. I'm reading it off his chain. Sure. <laughs> you guys probably so like can't see it. M A F. Well, break it down because some people don't know what M A F even stand for. M A F stand for money and family. You know, that's based off like loyalty, love, and like, um, like freedom, like being who you want to be. In. Like no matter what you is, you know, in Iraq, it's a bunch of like G D S, B D S, stones, whatever. You is like whatever the fuck you from, you know, uh-huh. and you know like some people forced to be shit because that's what they hood is in Iraq, you know, like you like it's basically like you you born in something like you ever heard the saying like like you um like you born in some shit. like you mm-hmm. you just come from that shit. like so you feel family BDs or like grew up in old block or in mm-hmm. old or some shit. you a BD like you forced to be that faith basically you know yeah. so like with my shit, if you make your decision about what gang you're going to join as an adult, they'll clown you for that. If you join a gang at 25, they're going to roast your ass for it. <laughs> hey, Seen yeah. it happen before. Yeah, 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 so it's yeah. like you need to choose your gang as a small child yeah, yeah. or else it won't be respected, which is kind of an odd concept. Yeah. In Iraq, that's big as hell. Though, you LA know, too, like, yeah. So when you was doing the Zach TV, that was MAF. That was MAF. Yeah, that was my MAF stage. Like, you know? Uh, MAF, it wasn't no rappers out there. It's all members, you know? Like, yeah. All members. Like, <laughs> ain't no rapper. I was the first rapper, like, out of the crowd. Dirty Cut wasn't even out yet? No. So y'all was just doing Zach TVs just off the string? Yeah. How oh. that even, yeah? We yeah. seen his ass in the store that day yeah. on Craig. We was all like, all right, we like, I right, finna throw some shit. It was on break. It was a Thursday, and we did all this shit one day. Mind you, we did this one day. Thursday, we. You know, we NCI, everybody put on their page. This when Twitter was hot and shit, like, back then, like, like a month. You know, mm-hmm. I don't get on Twitter like that. Nobody does. But. <laughs> it's totally different now. Yeah, it'd be like a it's like, it'd be like yeah. a, well, a lot of death. <laughs> you can watch people die on there all day. It's strange. Yeah. But, but yeah, though, we seen these asses in the store. We was all getting flat for that. Basically, we all popped out early morning the next day, yeah. Friday and shit. When we went to the stores and shit, we seen them, like, in DTL, you know, we was all getting kicks. It was like fours. We was two cars deep. It was like four in each car. We deep as hell. We be deep as hell, like, you know, growing up. Like, all us, we built off, like, United and shit. Like, everybody from a different, like, what I just told you, like, has, like, um, like, when you grow up, you got to be what you is. Like, whoever, like, what 
We were just talking about like everybody from a different set. Like with MAF, like like I'm from Rose and like in the hundreds and then we got members like you would catch my from out west or you would catch my like we got members from like all over the city, like different yeah. parts of the city. And like we moved to the birds, basically. So, so that's where the MF video was shot. That was in the birds. Yeah. Oh, uh, what city, bird was man. it? South Suburbs, like Markham, Country Club Hills, you know, Hayes and Crest and shit. Like, you gonna have a lot of yeah. trying to clown that shit. Like, from the right. Them goofies. Like, you know, they goofies. They don't know shit. Like, all the South Suburbs, they just like, um, motherfuckers that moved from the city to the birds because they OG scared for their kids' lives and shit. Like, growing so, up and shit. So, you know, like, the hunters and like, low end and shit. Like all that shit, Inglewood, and shit, that shit, and like low end and like all types. Shit. I know y'all in view hella artists from the rack, so they tell y'all where they from, like you know, yeah. and they tell y'all what area is here, you know. Mm. So in the birds, I moved to the birds in eighth grade. My OG moved me out the hood in eighth grade, you know. Like my OG, she from 105th and Wentworth, and my daddy from 101st and Perry. So it's like uh, this side of Wentworth being to it with this side of Wentworth. You feel me? Um, How come your parents wanted to get out of there? My daddy's ass uh, be in jail and shit a lot, back and forth. Well, I love the fuck out my daddy, you know, I'm named after him and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, but well, my mama was, it was my mama choice. My OG, I went to the feds and shit, all type of shit when I was a shorty. And I was like, with my auntie and shit, closest to my daddy's side, my mama adopted, so I'm already, like, no. Hating on someone for moving to a nicer area is also some backwards ass shit. Because literally every successful rapper from L.A., from Chicago, whatever, you only need to get a little bit of fame and popularity for that to be the first thing you start thinking is, well, how do I get out, out the way where I'm not going to be as much of a target for my and I'll be able to go to Starbucks and not be watching my back and shit like that, you know? So that, that's some, like, high school-ass shit to be hating on somebody for, don't you think? Hell yeah. Especially that's when you're a kid. You don't control where you live when you're in eighth grade. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Like, my OG went to the feds in, like, my sixth grade, yeah. And I was with my auntie and she lived on 101st period. That's my daddy's sister, you know? Mm -hmm. And I used to be out late as hell with four of them. Like, you know, this the hood I'm from. I'm from Rose and I'm from, like, you know, like people try to clown me and say all type of bad shit. Try to, because of the bird. Like I just yeah, said, that, of... that was my sophomore year. Zach TV video was my sophomore year. You feel me? But uh, MAS got made like by my, um, like my eighth grade year going to freshman year, you know? Badass kids just trying to, you know, just do shit. And we all from our different sets or whatever, however it go. And yeah. we look, we liked it, each other. Like, we just like hanging with each other, this crowd, this one crowd, you know? Mm. And we just gave ourselves a name because we was getting older. Feel me? And shit like that. And then, you know, it was new recruits and shit. Like, you know, because they seen how thrilled we was, you know? It was like four, us, five of us at first. And, you know, like, I was kind of a newcomer. Like, I want to deal when it first started, you know? And then the school game. That's all right now. Like that's me right here, right now. Like, but before, but before right we now. get to the school game, so who created the M A M A F? Like who out there was like, we gonna my call shorty, ourselves? My shorty Crip, my shorty Crip, my shorty Chew Money, shit like that. Um, my other homie G Wayne and shit. You know, G Wayne and Crip, blood brothers and shit. like they're my dogs. You feel me? And then Chew Money, he be he like he was the homie that played sports and shit. so yeah. he, he went to college and shit. like he lived out of town and. Shit. Us graduating, I dropped off. You feel me? Uh, Anybody from MAF started rapping like after the fact? Uh, me. You the only one? Yeah, I'm the so, only one. I'm yeah. Cool. I'll pick up for it. After that, we was known as hell, I ain't gonna lie. We came up getting money. We was getting money. All that MAF shit, getting money. You seem to go back to the vault, you would see money in that. Yeah. We were shorties. I was a kid. Like, How are you, you getting money? Shit. Why well, people always laugh at me when I ask that? <laughs> <laughs> get money all type of ways though. If you from the rack though, you gonna get it how you feel. You know, you gonna like, you gonna chase the how you want. You gonna, you gonna be broke. I hear, gonna... I hear. All right, so with Chicago, a lot of people don't be trapping. <laughs> they said the trapping usually on the on the west side or something like that. Hell no, nah, they lying. So okay. everybody trapping around that. But out west, they should be booming though. Like you know, it's different though. Yeah. Like out west, that like a whole another world to me. But I. Out West, dude, like my security, like Rich, that's my boy. Like he from Out West, yeah, that's yeah. my dog. Like you know, like he a foe. Uh, he even a foe. I don't f with foes, you know. Yeah. I don't like the ass. Like you know. But like, he passes the test. Yeah. 
Okay. He protected me. Mm. You know, he protected me from a fool. You know, if some shit was. Maybe an op can protect you better than anyone else. Hell no. Nah. No. Hell no. Nah. That's my dog. I'm trying he to help you out. <laughs> he ain't no See, I'm from out south. He from out west. I don't know shit about nothing they got going on. When I meet you, when I met him, I don't know him. He yeah. don't know me. He ain't even knew me off music, you know? Mm -hmm. like, I don't f people with that. For real. I don't mix streets with my music, for real. You know? I love the f out of my music, for real. I heard him off of my music, so I don't merge the streets with that, you know? Yeah. And I'm trying to beat the streets. I beat that though. I'm crazy. Like, I beat that shit. I'm still a rookie. I'm still a rookie, though. You know, in, mm -hmm. the, in the industry, though. But so I'm in this. What hap What started happening first, jail or you pursuing rap? I rap. I dropped two songs. Though you caught that bitch, did 400,000. Okay. My second song, I dropped like a month later. I'm like, just went up from do that again. You know, I had the whole gang in that bitch with me. I paid, I really wanted to do that. I paid for the session. I paid on Craig. Ah, on Craig, I made the I made the hook, right? I, I made yeah. the hook. I'm just in that playing. I I f up with me. I like this beat. I'm like, I pee my boy KD on my son. That's Scoon. That's Scoon. That's his nickname. KD, that's my best friend. For sure. You know? Like that's my dog. Like if you listen to my music, if you see me, be with me, know me, you don't even gotta know me, you gonna know how bad. Like I'm f up about bro. You know, I lost bro, that shit killed me. You know, like that's the, all this about right now that's yep. what it all be about and where kd from kd from now he from the hundreds kd daddy he from 119th but kd daddy and my mama from the same block but it was a coincidence like it wasn't like we didn't grow up like i told you i'm from this side of when we're this side of when we're we in tour with and shit. that's yeah. my mama's side though but that's my old she grew up like you know that's how i know a lot of my over there and like not saying i get passes if i see them or some shit like that but like, you know, my OG from over there. So it's like, you know, if they got love for my OG, Damn. you feel me? Like, it's shit like that. Like, me growing up, though, because I moved out the hood in eighth grade. So I was a kid, you know? Well, you know, I just probably started playing with guns and shit. Like, literally, just like, like seventh grade. And shit, like. So what year did you go to jail? I went to jail in um, 2019. 2019. What you got arrested for? May 26, 2019. Straps. I got gun case, high speeds and shit. Uh, so you just got straps on you and then they try to pull you over and you just, you can't get pulled over? <laughs> Stop So you shit. gotta try your luck? Yeah, what? Well, they gotta try their luck. <laughs> <laughs> so then but they caught me though, they tried their luck and won. Because a lot of times they have like, to give up the chase nowadays, right? If yeah, it gets too dangerous, right, yeah. are you kind of counting on that? Yeah, we just got birds and shit though. Like we just got birds. Like birds. Oh, the helicopters. Oh, yeah. for sure. We just got birds like last year. So it'd be hectic. I don't play around now. Like, you know, I'm big as hell. And I only do a lot of shit I used to do. You know, I was bad as hell. Like, I was the first little, like, Ryan Joints in the rack. Like, yeah. I was known as hell. Like, around that time, Zach TV, for Ryan Strikers. Like, raw ass Strikers, though. Like, straight eights and shit. Like, yeah. I, like, when Sosa, like, first bust his hell, can Like, back then, it was a gray one with a strike through that. Like, a smoke gray one. I had the same one. I bought it for 7500 Okay, I bought it for seventy five hundred. Uh -huh. um, I bought it the day after I shot Dirty Cup. I shot the video Dirty Cup, and then I bought that the next day. I even paid for the Dirty Cup video. It was a G, and then I paid for the session too. Like, I was getting money. I be getting money for. I be getting money. So yeah, you always believed in your uh, your rap career because like Craig, from, from the beginning, I did the first you... song on Craig. I knew it on Craig. I just, just a badass shorty. If I had the knowledge I have right now and the goddess I have right now, back then. Yeah. I would have been on for y'all would have been seeing me. I would I think I could have got signed off my second song. Mm -hmm. I swear to God, I think I, and I only had like three thousand followers when I first dropped the song. Thirty five hundred. You got locked up for how long? A year. I okay. did a year on house arrest. Okay. I had I had two stripe cases. I I got caught with a pipe. May thirtieth, ten days for my birthday. Then I bonded out. Um, like before I even hit deck and shit for a G. Like, I'm gonna keep it real. Like in the rack it's like it's like um like um you gotta pay a certain percentage to get 10%. out. Yeah, ten percent. Yeah. Like you know, every city, every yeah. state different. And shit, you know, that's why I never want to go to jail out here. I think ten percent is normal though, right? No, nah, hell no. Nah. But don't they have no bail now or some? Shit? Yeah, yeah, you got some new shit like that. But yeah. hell no, nah, every every state different. Like out here, you like out here, how you need the bills, bondsmen and shit. Like it's mm. different. Like rack don't need that shit. 
OG can come buy you out. Yo, I can buy you out in the rank. Like, on Gregory, yo, I can buy you out, for. You ever heard about that happening? <laughs> you know that? A lot of shit be happening. That would be fucking scary. Oh, somebody's here to bail you out. You walk out, it's your it fucking like, arch enemy just, just staring at you. in the rack. <laughs> that shit happening in the rack, fool. A lot of shit that happened in the rack. Like, all type of, like, impossible shit be happening in the rack, fool. You would think that shit ain't, you know? Yeah. Ain't happening. That shit be happening in the rack, for real. So you was on house arrest for a whole year? And that's when you recorded it's the house arrest project? Exactly when I dropped house arrest with my son. I used to go to uh at first I was on shit. At first I was on house arrest at Katie Mum house. Uh shit. I I moved from her house to my brother's house. Uh he blind and shit. My brother Scudball, he blinds my oldest brother. Yeah. Free him, he in a, he booked right now for for a body and shit. But he finna beat that bitch, you know that. But look though, uh, yeah, I moved with him and shit, you know. And he was blind at the time and shit. I had wound up getting shot and shit, man. I had wound up getting shot at the crib. And, um, you got shot at the crib while you was on house arrest. Yeah, I'm fucking up. That's how that niggas just sliding and just shooting through the door. Yeah, they shot my crib. Bro. Yeah, I got some bitch ass out for like. Niggas be bitches though, but but and this is the crib in the burb. Yeah, this is the crib in the burb. So the burb still is, is cracking out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. That's what niggas be tweaking. Like niggas be tweaking. It be dead bodies in the birds for a lot yeah. of them bitches. For but you know, like I, I'm I'm being the south suburbs at that. You know, like I say, I'm not from the birds. For yeah. I told you, I'm from from, from the hundreds. Yeah, I'm from Roseland. But you, oh, bro, everybody know about Roseland. Like I'm from the honey. Like that's the whole area. Like I put it like that. You know. Um, but I gotta say, I put on for the bird. That's my shit too. I'm gonna create the birds. My shit. I'm gonna create. But people gotta really hate you to go to a totally different area in the suburbs and take an extra level of risk to try to do something you, to you, right? Yeah, but the hood ain't shit. But like, fifteen minutes. Like oh, the DT okay. from the south suburbs, twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Like twenty five minutes. You know, without traffic, thirty minutes with traffic. Like the the hood I live in, the hundreds. Like you know. The Burbs is on like 167, 159th. So you take I 57 down, that shit only like five exits. Like, you know, you got like 119, 127, 147, then 159th. Yeah. You know? So there's like a couple exits, that shit. Like, I could get to the hood on Craig Gray, like on some driving fast shit, like in, in 12 minutes on Craig Gray from the, where I'd be at in the Burbs. So break that down though. So, all right. So you're on house arrest. And you're chilling, and you get shot up. Where you get shot at, and like, where were you at in the crib? Uh, I was playing a game on crib. I was playing a game with my homie. He was gambling and shit. And shit, I heard shots go off. I heard shots go off, but you know I'm from the rack, fool. So I hit them bitches all the time, you know. Yeah. Like that's how I go. I'm real nigga. I'm Ti. Yeah. I heard shots go off. Um. Around that time, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I caught a stripe case, fo. And like May 30th on Craig, I bonded out before I hit deck yeah. on my son. I got out of jail. I couldn't make no money. I had twenty thousand put up in my OG crib, um, in my little brother room. Um, I told my little brother like, if anything ever happened to me, little bro, this yours. Keep it. Don't give it to mama and shit. You know, like, yeah. but if he wanted to give it to his mama or something, that's that he could have. You know, but I'm like, it's yours, so you can, you know, my little brother, you're younger than me, you know, my blood little brother, he like, yeah. you're younger than me, a year and nine months younger than me, like, literally, so, bam, I call home and shit, mm, you know, me on and shit, my shit was a G, I had Bonnie KD out too, my rappy, it was my rappy on my case, we was sitting behind my OG crib, country yeah. club, he was boxing, you know, what shit, you know, and shit. I was in the cat. Okay, girl, girl, I was in the hell cat. Same cat I told you, was like Chief Keith with the strike. Yeah. My son, the whole city know I had that bitch. Everybody know it. Like, and they came back there with like six cars. I guess an old lady called and was like, it's a suspicious car around. But I was waiting on my OG to pull up to let me in to get in the shower. But I parked in the back. So they probably, like, that bitch was tending yeah. out. Feel me? So, man. Mm. So this is the driveway of your house? Yeah. Uh -huh. I had my OG crib like in the back. So, yeah. They boxed that bitch in. I, ain't gonna, I couldn't do shit. You know, uh, me and Katie was rappies and shit. So my OG had bonded me out and shit. My OG, my little brother gave him the money and shit. Um, OG gave. I mean, my little brother gave my OG the money to come buy me out. Um, I was. I went. To, I, I had caught another case a, a month later, gun case a month later, off that one. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was in another street. I was in another charge. I was by myself, though. Uh, I was out of light and shit. Twelve was like two cars behind me. They hit the lights. They got on me and shit. I knew they was on me and shit. But, uh, <coughs> I snatched and shit. Man. Like, I had them. A car had jumped in their way. Made me spin out and shit. Airbags popped out and shit. I had to bail out. I don't want to talk about this shit because I started the time for that shit. You know, yeah, like yeah, that yeah. shit gone. But it's on my background, you know? Yeah. And I do good with life. Like, I ain't, I ain't seen police since this shit happened. I'm telling you, this shit happened. I got out of jail March 20th, 2020. I went to jail and, you know, May 26, 2019. I caught all that shit, 2018, you know? Two cases, so bam. Caught my second gun case, high speed. He jumped, jumped in front of me. I spent out. Bam. I got out running that shit. I got away though. I didn't got caught because the key file was in my pocket. I made it all the way to the metro st station. Fox Hill. They tracked down the key file? Oh no, they just shit. I don't know. They just might probably track the light. I mean, probably check the train stations, like all, everything that was around. Cause it was like five blocks over. So they was like the next train. They was probably trying to get there before the next train comes, you know? Yeah. And when they came up still, they just surrounded me and shit. And I got on one of these and shit. I could have beat it if I ain't had a key, key file in my pocket on career because I was five oh, yeah. from the cop. You know, <laughs> but that was my second. That was my second gun case. Man, they bump, they bump. They no bonded me. I had a violation because I had a gun case. The UW, I got caught with another one. Um, you know, yeah. I caught, I got caught the same exact case. I don't bond for it. You can't do that in Iraq. You know, mm. you violate your bond and all. Like you violate that whole money. They keep the money. You can't get it back from your last case and shit. You know. Yeah. Then you gotta see a violation um, bond, and then you gotta see your court bond. For your new gun, mm. so my new gun was uh, 50 KD. You know, my first gun was 100 KD. I mean, was 100 KD. My second gun was 500, 500 KD. Feel me? So the first one was a G to get out. I got out, got back on the same shit, bought another straight for like 5,000. You know, that's how that shit going around. Right. Yeah. This one I was strikers, strikers and shit first. Like y'all know, y'all probably heard that word. That's what the like, striker. Mm. You know? Yeah. On random bitches on Craig, I was the first little nigga. Random bitches on my dead brother, nigga. My son, nigga. My dead cousin. What makes a striker so special? Yeah, it's yours. Mm. Park that bitch where you want to. You, know? <laughs> you want to put it in your garage and put it right there. Hey, you going to come out in the morning and still go be right there. You hear me? Right. What about? Yeah. That shit too hot now, though. Yeah. They own them bitches on Craig. That shit hot in the right. But okay. this back then, though, this one on my son. My father used to take like cars, like um, for test drives and shit, and um, never bring them back, sell them and shit. You know, that's like in the right. That's what they do. Shit like yeah. that. Well, you just use a fake ID to do the test drive. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Stolen ID, something like that. I don't know. They just get them busy, take, bring them to the streets. The niggas like me and phone them. We bad them busy. So what year did KD die? KD died in, um, two years ago. Two years. So that was twenty twenty one. How did he, how did he pass? What was the Chicago gang violence or? Yeah, backdoor ass shit. Ain't no ops do shit. Oh, some backdoor ass shit. Yeah. Damn, money man shit. You know. And he, but is the is the same niggas that you hang out with like the the, sure. the niggas from the hundreds, not the MAF niggas, but like. Nah, see folks, see folks, see he's not from my hood. Yeah. You know. Oh, all right, for sure. You know, folks from 119th, we bumped from the birds. Me and Bruno. Yeah. You know, they double little hooligans. Me and Fulham, MAF. We clicked up with them. That was the first, you know, it was like, like if you see if you see the Dirty Cup songs and shit like that, it's another artist on that shit. Yeah. That's goofy, but, but you know, we was all as one, you know. I got niggas out my circle that hate on me right now, for like that was in the midst with me, that's you know, that was connected to bro and shit like that, you know, after bro dad, I was just Fell back off him. You know, that was bro people's, you know? And, you know, the glue gone, so it's like no point in me fucking with motherfuckers, you know? Like people you see around me, MAF school game. I made school game for my brother. Yeah. Great, great, you know? I, I be. I be seeing you going live with your ops and shit. You know, niggas in Chicago love doing that, going on live with your ops and shit. I don't really do that shit, but. I think it was an old. I didn't, I didn't did it. You did it a couple time. times, right? Yeah, because it's like an old video on you on live with some nigga like Road Runner. It's some Road Runner nigga. Goofy. Is that. All right, so is Road Runner, is that a suburb hood or they from the Burbs or that's on somewhere in the Hunnets? Uh, they in the Hunnets. Oh, all right, so they in the Hunnets too. They're not a suburb. Yeah. All right, for sure. Yeah. For the racket, like I say, that shit. It's just how it is, yeah. Yeah. That shit, like. Like, see, see, motherfuckers be fucked up by, like, old block and shit. Like, 
<laughs> That's how motherfuckers knew in the rack. It's yeah. Cool block. Like, I'm talking about if you ain't from the rack, though. You dry? Right. Like, if you ain't from the rack, like, you old block though, you cheap keep though, or you good dirt those, or you king bond those, some shit. Or, you, or you're eating whoops. <laughs> That's some new shit, though. That's a new wave, yeah. 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 Real ways like stick forever, like you know. Mm. Like, that's why folk King Von D you will forever his name, like you know. Just some virus shit, little dirty forever his name. Sosa you gonna forever his name, like no matter good, bad, rain, snow, hell, you know you gonna hear that shit. Like that just you got a rain. relationship with O Block, the BDS as a whole. Yeah, they you- cool. They cool. They f- I'm like, you know, we ain't clicked up or nothing like that. Or yeah. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't in tour with them, though. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. Like, ain't no beef and shit, but. It seems like you more tapped in with, like, the BDs, because I see you and uh, you and Herb got a song, right? Mm-hmm. I seen Faro's in your video. That's my little how you How you locked in with Jerns Gang? That's my little bro. That's fun now. Like, we click with them. You know? Oh, fun. Swear, that's my big bro. Like, you know? Yeah. I'm yeah. my mentor. You know? Oh, all right. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It's like my mentor. A lot of people don't know that shit, though. But, you know, I talk to Big Bird, like, like, you know, on a lot of shit, you know? Yeah. What, what kind of questions do you ask him about the industry and shit? Because um, he's seen it all. He got fucked over by his managers. He's got a crazy lawsuit or something going against them. So he really knows what could happen. Yeah, and I'm fresh. So, like, me talking to him helped me. Like, he, I just stay away from it. You know, he's going to let me stay away from it. You know, I already booted up by myself. So I ain't never had no cosign or nothing. Yeah. That was the first piece of work from a Chicago artist that's that blow people mind ever I ever got. Which one you talking about? The Drink the, Gang. Yeah, Drink Gang song. Yeah. Or her. Yeah. No, how did that come together? Like how you and her even how y'all put that together? Uh Sir did the verse out here. I did the song out here. Oh, and I did the song at APG. At the APG studio. At my at my label. Yeah. Uh, I left APG session, like four AM. I be doing like nine to fours. I do three to nines. I block it out with them. I love my label for like, yeah. you know, like. Well, how long you been fucking with APG for? Uh, I, only, I, I signed on. Um, it's crazy. Like, I don't even tell you this, but I reveal it and shit. Like I don't even tell you this, but I signed on Katie David. Oh, alright. Yeah, that's how I know, bro. Like, still with me. I'm my son. I could drop down, down right now. God could strike me down. You know. Uh, I'm also tell y'all, you know, because it's all said and done. I committed to Columbia. And I, I ain't want it. And you bailed out on yeah. it for the APG situation? Yeah. All right, yeah. so break that down, though. So you say you signed on his death day, like the day he died, you already had that offer on the table already? I had two off. I had 13 offers on the table. Yeah. And all. A lot of it was bullshit. A lot of it was just low money. You know, I'm from the rack. I need that bag for, you know, I ain't gonna lie. Or you just gotta make it make sense with me, you know? I got people to take care of. You know, I come from shit. I got shit for me to do, all type of shit, but. But I committed to the Columbia, and shit. And the day bro died, you just you changed your mind. No, I committed to Columbia, and I was going crazy, crazy. I get to talking to labels and shit. Bunch of them bitches get to hit me in January. Yeah, I dropped yeah yeah. After that, it was a go. All them every label was on my phone in my DM. Yeah, so you you had this wave where you were getting hot, then you get locked up. How long does it take you once you become free to actually start turning up again? I did it me when I was bumped. I did it me when I was bumped in the joint. So I while you were locked up, million. you had some shit come out and, and start doing better. With me. And what song is this? Splurge Flow. All right, Splurge Flow. That was my first wave. And, Shout out Splurge. And this before Catch him. a Beat. That's why I made it, because of him. I'm rapping just like him on that bitch. I didn't talk to him before off that shit, all type of shit. Like, you know? Legend. Like, for real. He, he used to be said, young as fuck hanging out at the store. Yeah. My store back in the day, 2018, I wish, 2019. I wish he would have kept going, man. It's sad. I don't even see him on the map no more. You know, I, I salute him. Like, you know, I know he there, probably bro. see this shit, so I salute him, you know? Yeah. Like, for sure. Like, I did my first M off some crazy shit like that, and I didn't even like the song on Craig. That was my fourth like song um, when I shot it on Craig. That bitch blew up, for What the fuck? I'm saying all type of dumb ass shit on that bitch. I'm just rapping like how he be. He just be talking. I just talk. That bitch did a million. That was my first million ever. I shot it. That bitch did a million. Yeah. So why uh why APG over Columbia? Like what made, what changed your mind? APG over Columbia cause shit. I was noticing a lot of shit. Like I pay attention to people, you know? And I want a bigger situation for myself. 
And then I was telling every label, like, my son, like, oh, that shit all said and done so I could say it and talk on it. Yeah. I didn't visit Alamo, you know? A lot of everybody wanted me. I was like, a lottery pick, you know? Yeah. Uh, shit, I think real long. Like, imagine just a little nigga, damn, Craig. Like, I was paying for everything. So I got like 30000 I went broke off 30000 like, right before I signed, like, to zero dollars. Like, and I was trying to make money and shit. It's just I was so locked in with music that I couldn't get no money because it's like I was in the stool, like, you know? So it was like I went to zero for and Shout out my boy Bink. That's dub block. That shit you asked. Shout out my dub boy Bink. All right, for sure. I just got a dub block charm, you know, that me and Bink locked in. Like, you know, I got, like, you know, that's so my So break dog. that down for, so where does that come into play in this situation? Who my dub block, yeah. Bink, he yeah. been with me. He been with me just be playing it back. He just popped out for real. Like, he just popped out because I just got the charm and all that shit. You all know, right. like, that's what the real fucked up about jury and shit. Like, I been with him, though. I been with him, though. I got five projects. I got I got five projects. I got one with APG. I been with APG for five months. Five months. All Slick right. Almighty. I dropped Slick Almighty September 27th. That bitch going crazy. Oh, yeah, go that Slick Almighty. Go stream that shit on Craig Gree. All type of bangers on that bitch. Top to finish, top to start, banger after banger after banger. On my son, I made that tape in two trips to L.A. Like, you know, I'd be locked in, you know? Yeah. I made, like, 28 songs the whole, you know, I did five days one time, seven days the next time, you know? Shout out APG, they fly me out. What I'm chain you got first? I got both at the same time. At the same time? My son, both at the same time. There's been some controversy behind the chains. Well, one chain in particular the Schoon Gang chain. Sure. I've been seeing you and Lil Zay Osama going live back and forth. What's the whole big deal about the Schoon Gang chain? Mm, that shit ain't about nothing really, for real. That shit just like rack fucked up. Niggas hate, you know? Yeah. I don't know them. They don't know me on Craig Gary. What, they go by Schoon? You be saying? Know. What the fuck they go by? This all new to me on Craig Gary. Yeah. If I knew that, uh, I probably wouldn't even use it. I'm going to tell the truth. Yeah, I yeah. don't copy off niggas on Craig. I'm a real way myself, bro. Everything you ever see me do and say and make it and, and, and bark and, and say whatever, however you want to put it, I did that. I made that. Or well, me and Fulham did, you know? Yeah. And I love Fulham so much, I take whatever they got going on. And it got to be vice versa. My ops, your ops. Your ops, my ops. We can lock in right now, me and you. That's how it better be. Or we ain't homies. On yeah. Greg Grave, you know? We ain't locked in. So you and Zay shit, was it, it wasn't nothing like y'all don't know each other in person. It was just more some internet shit. Man, he used to live in the hood. Oh, so y'all know each other? He used to live in my hood. He moved in my hood like, I don't know how long. He used to live on Hunter from Wentworth, though. All I right. told you, I'm from 99th from Princeton. Yeah. You feel me? That's two blocks over, literally, like two, a minute away. So we used to shoot dice and gamble and shit at his crib. Oh, word. It was never smoke or nothing, like, you know? It was never smoke. It's the first, you know, time. It's, and that's all because niggas want to, I ain't saying him, but niggas want to beat me on crib. Niggas want what I got and what I do when I say I'm away, you know? They see a way going up. They, how the fuck, shorty? And I they hear, I guess, they, how the fuck he screaming this and we, I got the wave though. Yeah. How y'all that? And I got the wave. I got it. I don't know if they say school right now. Don't say Tiski. Don't mention MAF. Don't mention shit. Just say school when you're in the city of Chicago and see what gets said right after that word. I think I now you said that I feel like I heard him say school game or something before yeah, too. So, but now. I did. And I'm yeah. telling the truth. I did my research. After that, after the live, I did my research. Like, that's what the. A smart nigga better do on Craig Gray, you yeah. know? For niggas on your back or claim they this and that mm -hmm. and it's getting synced and all that. You should go do your research. So what I do, I went to do my research. Yeah, I seen and I'm keeping a buck. Yeah, I think they, they they was saying that shit yeah. two years ago. You know? I don't know how you guys are kinda gonna come to a resolution on that. Cause but, I but, doubt but, they but, just but, gonna but be look, like, all right, you can have it. Views, that shit at. <laughs> guess how many views that shit at, that I seen them when they say it's gonna guess how many views is that? How many views? Ten. Ten K. Yeah. Guess how much when when Tiski say school, look at me, guess how many views be at. I seen you say some shit too where you say that you blew up without a cosign and shit. Yeah. That you don't think he would have been able to do it without OTL. You can't. He can't. When he came, I didn't have a cosign like that. Hell yeah. When I interviewed him back in the day, 
Back in the Man, day, every nigga you ever interview got a cosign. I'm Usually young. coming out of Chicago, yeah, but I don't feel everybody, like he really did, right? Fucking Chicago. Anybody he was going viral interview, back in the day. Anybody, he was going with no viral. features. I don't think. So, so okay, no features. Okay. Obviously, his recent okay, okay, wave no features. Been with that's the cool. All right, all right, that's no cosign on features. You don't think he people is posting this shit? If he going hard and, and, and everybody think it's wrong, you don't think a, a, a viral rapper posting shit with a lot of followers? Just posted the video of the song by itself. Mm. Yeah. You don't think he they did that? It definitely that? helps. I'm asking, do y'all think artists did that for him? I, I don't think know. he got On his come up. On his yeah. come up. Nobody never posted my shit, bro. I'm telling y'all this right now. Not feature. You don't even want to talk about features. I just told you, Drinks Game was the first big. Nobody never even posted my shit and said, Shorty Hard, go follow him. Mm-hmm. And so, posted my piece of work and said, Shorty Hard, go follow him. Nobody. Yeah. No big artist still to this day. So how you think you was able to, to captivate this audience and build all this buzz without any cosigns and just doing it? Your, like what was the formula that you had? I believe in myself, bro. I'm like that. Fuck anybody. Fuck the world. I ain't no shit anyway. I don't, I don't kill people. Say I don't kill people. Think, nigga. Nigga, talk cheap. I'm Craig Gray, that shit cheap. Nigga. Show me what you about. You know? Yeah. And I live that too. You see how I said, you said that to you? Yeah. I, if a nigga say that back to me, I respect it. Show his ass what I'm about right after that. Yeah. You see what I'm doing. I should speak loud in words. You know, you know, you see. I'm at, I just did four million in four months on my son. No cosign. And that's what the catch would be. No cosign. No cosign. No cosign. Just me and my label. No cosign. Just T Skin's label on Craig Gray. Break down that song and how that song came about. I made that shit in my I made that bitch in Bink Basement. My dub block, I made it in the rack on Craig Gray. I was just bouncing off probably, a, I was just bouncing off probably a, a trip with APG on Craig Gray, on my son. I been had the song before I signed. I knew what it was. It just never had a second verse. I put the second verse on it a week before I dropped it. I knew what it was. I made it in his basement. I knew what it was. I take, I take two sessions on every hit. I, it just, it was a coincidence. Nah, but I do that on purpose now. Nah. But at first it was coincidence. Like I take two sessions on every hit. Like yeah, yeah, I took two sessions on. Like I made that bitch in my bedroom. Like it the whole shit on YouTube on my um boy MP um the twins channel. You will see that shit on Craig. He had a fucked up bogus ass camera. But guess what? I promote my people. So I don't get no fuck. Run that bitch. We chilling. They twins. One the engineer, MP, he recorded all my hits on Craig Green. I like it, yeah, yeah, you know? Then I got another engineer named Roy. That's dub block shit, you know? Yeah. So, MP, school engineer. Roy, dub block engineer. Roy got all the catchy B, 3 a.m., all that shit. If I ain't here, I'm here, you know? Yeah. That's how I'm going. That's how I be going. I do a lot of shit by myself with rap, you know? Like, I'm big school game. Like, I'm big school. Ain't nobody school like in my eyes, bro. And you can say what you want. I really like that they saying they school. You know why? Because I, I started the way. I feel like they saying it because of me. I ain't going to lie. But it is what it is. You know, f- p- how you feel is not true. Yeah. So don't blame me. Don't shoot the message. That's how I feel, you know? Don't There's a rapper me, that I know? interviewed from Brooklyn who's like kind of from a different generation. He's more from like the early 2000s. This dude Shay Davis, and he was pushing OTF. And then Dirk was actually like – kind of a fan of him I guess and then all of a sudden Dirk is pushing OTF and then Dirk ends up blowing up and like when I interviewed him and I asked him about it he was just kind of like he said he was mad about it at first but at at the same time it's like he's in a different city it's kind of like a common uh, abbreviation you can imagine so he he got over it and him and Dirk are cool about it and everything I don't see this situation being as easy to resolve given that you're all from the same city it feels like and you're from the same generation. They were from like different, you know, 10, 15 years apart in terms of the rap game. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm gonna keep it buck. It's been calls after that shit. Yeah, but it's been calls after that shit from them. And T.C. didn't got on the phone with them after that shit. And it's been cool, though. And we didn't came to res- resolution. All right. No, it's been cool? Well, that's good to know. No, it just happened. You know, I'm gonna put that out there. Since like the pushing the P shit, you, do you feel like that had played a part in it? Since everybody in Chicago kind of like on the yeah, no, nah, I just I got motion, man. On Craig Gray, like man, new ops on, you know, fuck about we a step with anybody, you know. Like that's what niggas be capping about, like you know, like not saying it like that. Like I'm from the rack, bro. I don't let niggas push over me, bro. Yeah, you know, I ain't saying we kill or none of that shit or none of that shit, cause I'm 
That shit 12 is hell. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. You know, I'm a nice guy, but what? From the rack, I'm not gonna let nobody push over me. You know, I ain't no bitch. I'm Craig Gray, you know? And ain't nobody I'm riding with no bitch. I'm Craig Gray, you can't ride with me. You can't get in the car with me. You can't hang with me. You can't do none of that. You know? I'm Craig. I take on whatever for you. You gotta take on whatever for me. You know? No, I'm a real ass little nigga, bro. All that shit be about. Do you think of yourself as like a renegade where you don't necessarily care about relationships or getting cool with people and shit like that? Because to be honest, the rap game is kind of like a game of relationships and like people knowing each other, who you get features from is a huge part of your success, who you're cool with that will bring you out on stage is a huge part of your All success. All that shit. All that shit. I don't fuck with renegades, though. Fuck, sir. I don't fuck, fuck with renegades, but I ain't gonna use that word. I don't like renegades, but like, for sure in that area on Craig Gray, I don't get no fuck on my dead brother. Cause look, uh, I'm tell y'all, look, that's how I look at it. my castle turn, my way turn. When I go home, I'm turn. Oh, look, I go, I go do a song with somebody, and I don't do songs with niggas. Fiery, that's my little bro. That's the only song, only features, and that's family. We locked yeah. off real life. I can't even do music with nigga. Like I don't, I ain't never did music with no rap nigga on some rap shit. I ain't gonna lie, you know. Yeah. Like, me and Fire finna drop back to back part two too. Like me and my show, you got hella shit. We just be locked in, getting high, record, you know? Uh, you know, like I don't be I don't fuck with niggas, bro. Like I swear to God, like, you know, I don't fuck with niggas because it hurt my it hurt it hurt my chance at life. It hurt my chance at life. Like what you just said, how you just said like features play a big part. You better know that. You better know all that shit who you locked in with to bring you out on stage. Big, you better know all that, you know? You better know that. So well, what you better do is move right in life, you know? Like, I right, for shit. If I fuck with you, you don't fuck with phone now. Not saying it like that. If I don't fuck with you, you don't fuck with OTF. If I fuck with you right now, you don't fuck with OTF. Not saying I got nothing to do with OTF, nothing. But say if we cool, we homies, I like your vibe, whatever. Because I don't judge. If, you, if I ain't into it with them and you fuck with them, them your homies. Yeah. But I ain't finna... You know what I'm saying? Piggyback off they shit. Yeah, like, you my homie. I don't got nothing, you know? But like I just said, if you my homie, that's my smoke. But you cool with that other crowd, that's not my crowd. I'm not finna go around them niggas because you cool with them. You know, them your peoples, bro. You know? Yeah. And we can be cool as hell. Like, if my cousin, that's your, my cousin people. I'm not finna go around them. My cousin. Like, you know? I don't hang with niggas. Niggas dick riders and fans anyway. So with that being said, it fuck up my chance of a yes and no. And like I just say, I don't care about people. So like, if right now it's gonna fuck my yes and no up, I should be able to pick my own choice if I wanna fuck with this nigga, this rapping ass <laughs> nigga, or not. Not, not it be an automatic no because I fuck with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like in the music industry, fucking with everybody and having lots of relationships is super important. In Chicago, obviously that becomes a lot more complicated. And I also think there is value in just being yourself having your music be your world and only letting very select few people that you really genuinely fuck with in because you're always, as a rapper, you're kind of always at risk of spreading the sauce a little too thin and having, you know, having your verses lose impact because people are just kind of sick of hearing you on too many different records and shit like that, you know? I got to say, my cats would turn fuck, nigga. If you turn, why would you need somebody else? I'm so happy my music go up by myself, bro. I feel that. I niggas, fought with that term, my, my castle turn. I ain't heard that. Term, niggas hitting niggas in my DM. Yeah. And I get to choose if I want to DM them back or not. I lead I lead so many people on scene rapping ass nigga. So you, you, can, see, you can see it tonight. And I know that the, the internet fuck people head up. People fucked up about the internet. That's why I only touch that shit. And that's why my shit go all the way up on Craig Green. Everything I ever do, people like it because they don't care. I just post shit. I don't Take too much time thinking, none of that shit, bro. I know what's trimming, what's not, you know? For real. So, like, you, you, I leave a nigga on scene, guess what? He gonna feel some type of way, ain't he? We can have nothing, do, we can never see each other, nothing. Like, a lot of the smoke that be coming my way, I never seen these niggas in life. Yeah. In real life, these niggas probably be fanned out if they see me on my son, you know? So, like, if I leave you on scene, we ain't op, nothing like that. You DM me, like, let's do a song, let's get in there. And I leave it on scene. And then for no reason, I just, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? You gonna feel some type of way. 
There you go. But you just saying I'm hard. I, what must have just been hard? You just dick rat acting for a song acting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a lot of that in the ring. When I DM someone and they don't respond, it is a weird feeling of like you don't know if they just don't fuck with you. Or if they just didn't see it, because realistically, a lot of rappers and shit are incredibly busy, and I forget to answer fucking DMs all the time. Exactly. And I don't want people to hold it against me, but sometimes okay, I feel a little bit of that towards you other know, people. Some people not in the predicaments. People big, people would die for your page. But people if you people get, would die for my page. If you got a thousand great. followers, people live for Instagram. If you got a thousand followers, <laughs> you see every DM. Yeah, that's so what it's I'm like, saying. You know? That's what I'm saying. People would die for your page, bro. Yeah. They don't know that that shit be. All day DMs, bro. Yeah, I can't even see shit. My shit go up so. Imagine an upcoming artist, bro. That shit just so every that shit, man. I be having my. I have to silence my phone, cool. Mm. Like I have to silence my shit, cool. People I don't keep have trying my to call me on Instagram. I don't have notifications on, so shit. I don't, I don't yeah. see it ever. Yeah. People always do that to me. I don't have that shit. That shit dumb as hell. Okay, <laughs> great. Stop calling me. Is there any rappers that you really want to work with, like outside of Chicago, like that you yes. look up to? Okay, great. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, ooh. Man, all the turn motherfuckers, man. I'm trying to lock it in. I ain't going to lie. Those all real like, motherfuckers, though. I don't want no turn that ass goofy on okay? Craig. Throw somebody name out there. I'm just trying to see where your head at. On a like music bees. level. Bees. Bees. Uh, the cereal the right there. cereal right there. He hard. He's so hard. Stupid hard. That love is just how he come. Yeah. How he be about You know, he sell himself. He, you know, yeah. I got this shit called Fire Drill. I just made like two days ago. Like Tap in days. We need a remix. What? He need, he need a verse. Fuck that. I told Eli walk it down for me. Eli gonna walk it down. All right, you know. He said he gonna get V's and get on it. You What's know Lil Rob? Again? I'll send it to him right now. Oh, my brother. Send it to him. You know Lil Rob? I'm drop it to you. Oh, it's not out yet. No, I just made it two oh, days okay, ago. Okay. I'm finna add drop it to you. All you right. Gotta, you, you gotta uh, turn your add drop on. Yeah, I got it. No about. <laughs> Oh my dead brother. Yeah, V's gotta hop on that. Anybody v's else get you wanna work with? Hey, shit, Dirk. Shit, hey, motherfucker, you know, Sosa for sure, Dirk and Sosa, you know, I'm yeah. baby, I'm baby them, I'm baby goat, I'm Craig Gray, I'm baby goat. They were all uh, your influences coming up? Uh, huh. I don't want to say your number out loud, just oh, put yeah. it, yeah, <laughs> huh? Uh, who would you say was like your influences coming up when my you first ex, started yeah, rapping? Yeah. Like, yeah, who, who you was looking at when you first started rapping? Like, ah, right, yeah, I could do this. That I want to be like that's big or like? Just rapping wise, like you was influenced by? Uh, like when I first put out, yeah. like when I first got that bitch in 2018. Yeah. Um, uh, who the fuck I was listening to? Like a motherfucker. Like well, social that. influence? Yeah, always. Yeah, for sure, yeah. right? Yeah. And who else? But like right now, yeah. like right now, I really want too much in the music, so I ain't want to like have some of motherfucker has in like a fan base or this <laughs> or that. So right now, I could kind of relate, you know? Yeah. Like this wave, I could relate. I'm going to say shysty. All right, for sure. Yeah. For sure, fan base, out. all that. He come to Trump. You know, I got a free shysty on my head, brother. You see what I got on on Craig Gray? I can see it. I can uh-huh. feel it. <laughs> on Craig. These bitches drenched in the, in the rack, though. It's a bunch of these bitches in the rack. But you see, I got the real. The I don't even want them. I don't want the real one. Like, you know, this the real shysty. This ain't the. While I was talking to you, $60 is pop. I, I started Craig. thinking if I search, like, big shysty on Amazon, will I find, like, a bigger one? Because I feel like my head's going to need the biggest sized shysty. It's one size fit all, cool. Yeah, but I don't Where know. Where you get yours from? Where you bought head. that one from? I'll be getting my shit from Dick's and I'll be ordering them. I feel it. How you uh how did you lose the finger? I got shot. What year was this? That day. Oh, this was the tw- at the uh, when you was on house arrest. Yeah. I was playing a game. That's crazy. So you got playing a game. While you was playing a game, you got shot in the hand? I was playing two K. Mm. I'm full now. Oh yeah, I got off the subject. I'm gonna tell you. I was down 10 points on Craig Reed. I remember like it was yesterday. I was down 10 points, for Who you was playing with? Dogs, for This one, Atlanta. When Trey Young, you know. Yeah. I feel back off him now. I don't like they way now, you know. But this back then, I loved it. When you, you know, Xbox, PS5, well. It was a PS4. PS4 at the time. You know, that's all niggas on hot stress do is play the game anyway, yeah. you know. So I'm um, down 10. We playing for like 100, my homie. I used to call motherfuckers over there and, and, and Run fuck money. them up yeah. on Craig Gray on purpose. Like That was my whole game plan. That I used to wake up like, this is what I'm finna do today. I'm finna call a bunch of my homies and tell them come gamble me. 
Yeah. They don't want to fuck me and dice on Craig Gray. Like, you know, I'm like that. They on me. So they got a better chance and shit like that, you know? Playing on 2K. Yeah, like, you know, so I'm down 10 cool on Craig Gray. I'll come back. And on phone them Gray, I come back. I hit a three on Craig Gray, and that's the tag game. I told you in the rank, now I hit a shot. <laughs> them bitches, bitches ain't coming through nothing, though. You know? And yeah. they only shot like seven times. Like, yeah, after It's not a switch. Hell nah, oh, this, this is back then. Back this was then. before Buns was out. Right, sure. Buns wasn't even out or hot or none of that back then yeah. with my son. So, bam, I hit them bitches on the crib. Now, mind you, bro, growing up in the rack, you done heard shots just in the crib. Just, you would hear some shots, like, and none of that shit come through your window or nothing. Yeah. On Craig, like the, on Craig, like the fifth shot, bust the window, like patio window. I was sitting by like a patio, like playing the game and shit. Yeah. Only was right here and shit. I'm playing the game. I'm like this and shit, you know? Yeah. Just like this. On Craig Gray, the controller in my hand, the bullet broke the controller, like the circle. The bullet broke the circle on the controller on Craig. That bitch, like jam. <laughs> was it that one shot that went in the house and then hit you? Yeah. Well, somebody else it, got it, hit too. It, it, it probably, I probably got hit with like the fifth shell. Like, I, I ain't even know I was shot on Craig Gray on my son. On my son, I ain't know I was shot. I ain't know I was shot. And see, I just started seeing a lot of blood leak out, you know? Niggas ain't gangster. Like, niggas ain't finna run in that bitch, nothing. Like, you know, I heard some shots. I, I ain't gonna lie, the, the window bust I got out on Craig Gray. I'm a real nigga. I don't lie about nothing. Yeah. Nothing, you know? I ain't had no strap in that bitch, nothing. I ain't gonna lie. I swear to God, I ain't gonna lie. I was on house rides. I just got caught with two of them bitches, fool. Got caught on with Bond on May, on May 30th, and then I called my second one on Greg Green, like in July. And I, you know, they was on my ass. Twelves on my ass, bro. I was fighting two different gun cases. They had to merge them together and run it concurrent, you know? I had to battle raw ass lawyer and shit, all type of shit. You know, I was paying for my lawyer myself, fool. No help, fool. Yeah. Myself on Craig. So that had wound up happening there. I was hit. I was hitting my hand for on Craig Gray. I was hitting my hand. Now I'm like, I, my brother was in the room and shit. My blind brother was in the room, Craig. I'm like, my homie, yeah, got down and shit. You know, he wasn't even no street nigga. I ain't gonna lie, he ain't no street nigga. So when the bullets got to coming through and shit, um, you know, he got down and shit. You know, I wasn't expect him to do nothing or nothing like that. He ain't had no You said got down like he got up out of there? Or you yeah, know, like, like he got down like he, he started busting back? Nah, he like got down like you know when shots get off. Oh go yeah, yeah. Off, you gotta I get got the down like the floats okay, like, yeah, 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 like <laughs> but like you know now I'm, my brother's in the room now. I yeah, I'm like you know I see the blood now. I'm like I'm hit and shit. I'm like I'm hit. I see how the blood. And shit. I'm calm as hell. You know I'm a real nigga for I, I mean, why shit happened, but worse than that. You know so I'm hit. I'm Craig Green. I got hit in my index finger. I got hit in my index finger. <laughs> and my son, my shit gone now. Like, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna Holy interview. Shit. I'm telling you, like, I didn't my even shit see gone. It now. Like, my shit gone. Like, I got it amputated this year in June. I mean, in January. Yeah. If you really pay attention, you will see, like, yeah, yeah. It's in January. I dropped, yeah, yeah. I dropped, yeah, yeah, video January 19th. I'm cast up in that video. Like, I'm wrapped up. If you look at it. You know? Yeah. What's it like not having it? That shit regular. I ain't gonna lie. That shit regular now. Like, for yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That shit feel regular as hell. But it took time. It took time. To I get got it. it amputated January 9th. Why did you get it amputated? They couldn't save it or it was. I had my finger for five years, gang. I got shot in 2018. That's what people don't be knowing. I had my finger for five years. And I went to prison with my, I had, when Craig, it just, it grew back. The bone had shattered. It hit me like right here, came through the front, and it had shattered. So when I went, I had to go to immediate surgery like the next day. I was on the band. So I was property of the state. I couldn't go to no regular hospital, so they made me go to Cook County. You know, if you're from the rack, you don't know. Like that's, you know? Yeah. And on my son, I'm going through surgery, seeing inmates, like, Seeing inmates that's in like in a jumpsuit, folk like on Craig Gray. Why I'm finna go to surgery? Like I'm at the hospital like that, you know? Yeah. Like I couldn't even have my choice, folk, cause I was gonna get violated and they was gonna send me back to jail for in the county. That shit goofy. So I copped out. I wound up copping out. That's how I wound up in prison for a year. I copped out for four years at fifty. 
with Gregory, you gotta do fifty percent. I did two years, two years incarcerated, and I did, I did two years incarcerated, and um, I mean one year incarcerated, and one one year on the bench, and I had to serve fifty percent of that. So I did one year on the bench, and I turned myself in. They gave me credits, served. You know, off the band. Yeah. So I copped out for four years at 50. They gave me a year in for the band. I had to do a year in the joint. I was in Galesburg. I'm crazy. Sent me downstate. I'm little as hell. Yeah, I'm a young ass, little ass boy. I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. I'm crazy. I ain't seen everything, blood. I was gone with niggas with elbows. The elbow is life, bro. Like, gone, like 90. Like, life's like, fuck, you don't even have a discharge date, for Like, they telling me, like, shorty, you. You tweaking, shorty, why you here? Like, and they was cool as hell. Like, they want no, no murder man shit. Like, how everybody be thinking? My fuck be on murder man shit with them <laughs> joints and shit. Like, if you hold yourself up, folk, you good. Like, you don't have to go through all that shit in the joint. You ain't no bitch, and you ain't, people gonna see that and back off. They not on, like, you know, unless yeah. they want smoke. Unless they your opposite, something want smoke, you know? Wait, so what happened after the five years that made you finally get the finger amputated? My shit got to hurting when I was in the joint, folk. Oh. My shit grew back, curving. I had, I had, um, I had to go through immediate surgery. Like I said, I seen niggas in jumpsuits and all. Like I couldn't go to no raw ass doctor. I guess, blood. Like that's what it come out to be. No, like I was just hurting and pain. Like at the time, I need that shit done for. Like when I, I put my shit on this, like I was like, I'm hit. My brother, I'm like, I'm hit. He like, where you hit it? I'm like, in my hand. He thought I said in my head and shit. You know. So he got the tweaking and shit. I'm like, nah, my hand, blood. He can't see and shit, you know? Yeah. I put it on some water, I agree. I put that shit on some water. I got shot and put it on some water, for. Mm. I'm a real gangster, fool. Oh, I thought that shit was going to work. <laughs> 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 my shit was off by like 75. On career, I seen my bone. On career, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a real nigga, fool. Yeah. And they fixed that bitch, though. I had surgery the next day, they fixed it. It was sterile. Only thing, my bone grew back curving for, and it was this shit that's called like gangrene for. I never wanted to get my finger amputated for. I never had gangrene or nothing. I never oh, okay. had it. You were just scared you were gonna get it? No, like it was, uh, like they were saying, like it was a high, ch high chance of it mm. um, later on in life. Yeah. And, and it could have got worse, like. And crawled up your arm yeah, and shit, man. Yeah. and you had to get your home. Like it got to be in like shit like that, bro. I dropped tears like before I went to surgery on my son, bro. Like two tears. I'm a real nigga. For, uh, like I never faced some scary shit in my life, bro. Like people joke about that shit with me and all that. Like my my, my homies and nothing, cause they know. Like you know, yeah. I don't even get no fuck up. Fun them a joke about that shit. Sometimes we had, so yeah, we alive at that shit, bro. That shit, little shit like the internet be just like weird as hell with it, like. You know, I got that shit January like the, the world never found out until I shot the video of money on. Mm. I had 100,000 on me. I shot the video. I pulled out 100,000 on career. Uh, I went live shooting it in my crib. I bought a big-ass crib just off signing and shit, like big-ass, fat-ass crib. And then I shot the video of money on it, and I was holding the money a certain way. They did my surgery so good, you don't even notice it, like. I'm talking about the amputation. That's what I'm yeah. saying. It's like even when you look at it, it's hard to figure yeah, out no, what's yeah. going on because okay. it looks so smooth. Oh, does it, it doesn't it doesn't hurt at all? It no. feels totally normal now. Totally normal now. That's dope. Totally normal. Like, yeah. Totally normal. It's crazy because I was just interviewing Sada Baby maybe a month ago and asking him like the exact same sequence of questions, except his and his was a home. I think it was like a home invasion. He didn't really go super into detail, but pretty similar. Just like that. Shit happened just like that. I moved on my OG crib after that shit, blood. And, 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 with my son, nigga. I dropped tears off that shit. Like, for real, that shit hurt my feelings getting that shit off. Fool. Like, I ain't want to do that. I, used, I was asking him, like, damn, why? Like, that was my, that was my reaction. Like, why? Like, you know, and my shit wasn't even bad. I probably just needed another surgery to, like, uh, straighten my bone out. But they, like, ain't no point of doing it because... There's a chance it might do it again, start hurting again. Like, my shit start hurting real bad. Mm -hmm. When I was in the joint, the joint didn't want to touch it only because they was scared of a lawsuit mm -hmm. on Craig Gray. And they was going to have to take me to the outside hospital, all type of shit, you know? Nah, damn yeah. me. That shit was goofy. So it's like, I was boxed in, like, you know? So you feel like you going to jail is a, the main reason why I ended up having to get amputated? Like, if you would have went to, like, a, a better surgeon? 
Yeah, I probably could have caught it. Yeah. I probably could have caught it. Yeah, I probably could. I probably could have caught it because the bone just kept like curving, you know, because they took this the um the um pins and shit out like two months in and shit like that. You feel me? Yeah. Type shit. So like, so like it was. It just started like healing on its own, basically. You know. Yeah. Type shit. Damn. So uh, where where do you feel like you're at in your career right now, and and what do you want to do to get to the next level? And how much has shit changed with the label behind you? Oh, we going up to the sky, man. Slick Almighty, man. Almighty don't like nobody on my dad. I was just about to ask you, what's the difference between uh, uh, your your alter ego, Slick? You got T Skin and we got Slick. What's Slick? Who's That's Slick? Him right now. That's who you talk to right now. Yeah. T Skin more like a more like a, you know, from the in the trenches, you know. Um, don't really know nothing about life. Just got a lot of shit going on, and don't even know he got it going on. You know. Yeah. Like, like a lot of shit goes here. Badass shorty, you know. Slick is me right now. Like, like all this shit. Like you know, like they can't fuck with me. They can't fuck with me at all. When I turn him on, it's time to go to bed for everybody. You know. Who gave like, you that name, Slick? Phone them. It's it's really T Slick. T Slick. Yeah. You know. My, yeah. my real name start with a T. You know, that's where T-Ski came from. You feel me? The hood called me T-Baby, though. You know, like, if you really, really know me, grew up high school with me and shit. Like, I I, I moved to the Burbs, eighth grade. I, I went to Hillcrest. Yeah. You know? Um, I went to Perry Hills for, like, eighth grade, like, the end of it type shit. Graduated from now. That's in Markham. So I moved to, like, you know, in the middle of eighth grade, and then I started going to high school. I went to Hillcrest. That bitch be bossing on Craig Gray. <laughs> they be going downstate, all type of shit and hooping. It's a black school in the burbs. All it is is straight motherfuckers that move from the city. That's what I was telling you. Straight motherfuckers that move from the city. Like, that's how me and Fulham got with each other at Hillcrest. They be like, where you from? Where you from? Where you from? They be like, I'm from here. We move here. Every, and all they, all they mama's reasons was to probably move their kids out the hood for a better you know, mm-hmm. and that's how the birds turned out. Bad as hell, that bitch. Bad as hell, in that blood, that bitch. Treacherous, bro. And that's the south suburbs, though. You know, like everybody say suburbs. There's so many. Like the Chicago, big as hell. Illinois is big as hell. Chicago, big as hell by itself, blood. Just has hella parts of LA and mm-hmm. all these different West Hollywood, and yeah. you got Calabasas, and that's the same shit out there, blood. You know. And you some better than the other, right or wrong. You got more violence in one than the other, but it's violence everywhere. Yeah, well, you know? You saying some shit. So that's how it is for real, man. I ain't tweaking off that shit. But I'll put it on for both. I'm I'm saying it right now to the camera, to y'all on Craig Gray. I'm front rows and I put it on for the birds. That's my shit on Craig Gray. Birds, that's my shit. You know? It's a lot of other cliques out there doing their gang, doing their thing and shit, but we put it on for. Yeah, you, you can't. If you say Tiski, you gonna know me. You don't even have to know me. I don't know a lot of people on Craig. I never seen a lot of people in real life, and they probably will never fucking see me unless they buy a ticket you to the show or something. You consider King of Key uh, a bird? That's out of town, King. That's not really a bird. That's out of town, King. That's all I said. You know, I just had a show in Springfield. Yeah. Springfield out of town on Craig. That shit. That shit far as hell. Yeah. From Chicago from the rank, but it's like three hours. You know. I just had a show in Springfield. I just sold that bitch out. With my dead brother, nigga. I got a bond. Yeah, yeah. I say his ass out of town, goofy. I think his ass is from Decatur. You hear me? Decatur, 20 minutes from Springfield. I never knew this, though, because I've never been, you know? Yeah. But you see, I say his ass out of town, goofy. I think his ass is from Decatur. Even though that's still in Illinois, that shit is not Chicago. Like, you know? Mm. You go hear a motherfucker say, the birds, not Chicago. Or the birds, how? If I could get downtown in 15 minutes. How if you at, if you in, o, in the O right now if you on O block how how I'm not how does not the rack if I can get to the O in in seventeen minutes hmm. I'm South Suburb I say I'm Markham yeah. Country Club I can get to the O how for, you know how? how is that out of town if I can get to you in fifteen minutes is that uh, is I mean is I'm asking y'all this is this is is that the suburbs blood is that out of is that's not the rack if I can get to you in fifteen minutes no matter where I'm at that's not the rack. We could probably get to Compton in 15 minutes because it's late and there's no. Tr- well, actually, it's only 6:14. But if it was like midnight, we could probably. I'm get just asking y'all that like question because a lot of people say like, "It's ass from the birds and all this." Yeah. 
Like, what? I just told y'all where I was born and raised on Craig Gray. For real. And I mean, the fucking story about getting the crib shot up in the burbs is like, whoa, okay, I guess. My homie KD died the same way. Chicago burbs always been like treacherous. Cause my homie got shot in the burbs. My homie KD died the same way, gang. They shot his crib up. In the burbs. In the burbs. So. He got hit in his head on my son. I'm telling y'all because I'm a real nigga. And everybody be one. Yeah. You know? Like, you know, you see in Drench Gang, I say, KD died right in my face. The labels pay me for that pain. I don't care, Greg. Like, you know? Like, I was dead all type of shit, bro. Okay, I could talk about it because you know I I just really accepted that shit like after I signed because it was like crazy I signed on this death day, you know. So I'm like, bro, you really with me, bro? Like I'm fucked up out shorty. I got them all around my crib. Look, he big as hell on my neck. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got that shit big as hell on my neck, bro. Like, you know. Walk us through the night you died. You said you was there. Yeah. Shit. I don't even. I don't even really recall that shit like that. I just, man, I ain't gonna lie. I had just got the, I was just fucking this bitch and shit. I just got that and shit. He won't let me use his room and shit to fuck this hoe, so he made me go to a hotel and shit. And, and shit, I came back. And shit, that shit just happened. I don't know. That shit just happened before. That shit just happened before. You know, yeah. I love the fuck out of my brusky. You know? I, I smile about him now. Yeah. You know, I don't cry about him. I dropped all the tears and shit. You know, yeah. he really with me, you know. That's my dog, like, you know, like he he here still, you know, like in millions of ways, for you see my music, right? I'm yeah, Craig Gray, he like, living on through you. What? I'm Craig Gray. I don't play about him for like, everybody another, know this fool. Another yeah. question I gotta ask: I seen where uh one of the road runner dudes you try to fuck one of them one of their dudes uh bitches or some shit <laughs> and it went viral. Yeah, nah, nah, that bitch. Them hoes be want to fuck me for. I ain't gonna lie, fool. Them hoes want to fuck me, gang. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, gang. Yeah, um, but I know you seen people saying that on the internet. Yeah, and shit. yeah. them hoes want to fuck me, gang. Uh, I posted a video. I listened to my music though. Yeah, they be getting off my shit too. Everybody get off my music all low key and shit. It's so hard, you know. What about you got it? But ain't this fucked up though? Like I was just telling fun of this though. Like I got the rack so hard. I got this bitch so hard. I got fans that's three, five, six, seven. They really love Tiski. I got a real kid audience. Like mm -hmm. right now, my last show at Springfield is sold out. The owner came back, you know, I was backstage before I went on and shit, you know, just chilling, like, you know, like, I don't be wanting to get seen to shit, you know, for real. Yeah. So, like, so, like, she came at this, she was like, you got to come back. Um, She took pictures and shit with this, she was like, you got to come back. We just turned around 400 to 600, 400 to 600 underage people. Damn, so the youth listening. So, all right, here's a, what's the message that you have to the youth since, you know, they paying attention to you? Before I answer that, back to what I was just saying, ain't this fucked up? I had to think about it. You got a son that's six. All he knows is Tiski. <laughs> but you my op. What you gonna do? What would you tell your son? Like, turn that shit off? This a baby you talking to. Like, do you know that this has happened or is this hypothetical? I know this happened. I'm just asking y'all, what would y'all do? So the real kid is shit. If I really hated you, I would probably like do the thing on YouTube where it's like hide this user <laughs> so that she wouldn't find out about it. I'm saying, I'm saying, like, but I mean, it could happen for sure. I'm saying, like, <laughs> so you're gonna tell, so you're not gonna, but I'm talking about verbally or what? You're not gonna, you're not gonna I'm say that's the ops. He did this and this to uncle so and so. Why would you tell your son that? Cool. I don't know. I don't want to listen to anyone I don't approve of. Would you let would you let your ops, their kids, or what if your uh, kids was listening to your ops music? You'd be cool with it? Hell nah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be cool with it, but on Craig Gray. I but would, that's that's what's going I on. I would never I would never in my life on Craig Gray. I would never in my life tell my son like I would never knock off the mat what he like. Yeah. That's some hanging that shit, bro. Like, I was big, I hate us. Like, I sit back and think shit like that. I'm cool with being that kind of hater. Why? Because I got enemies, and I uh, I expect my kids to take on all of my enemies. Bro, your kid is six. Doesn't matter. What the fuck you mean? They don't got matter. child soldiers. No, the fuck they don't. I'm not man. trying to make her go out and spin for Uncle So and So, but I'm definitely not trying to encourage it either. 
You got to look, gang. You got to be real and this shit. I got real haters. I'm just showing y'all that to let y'all know niggas really hate on me. Like, that's yeah. that's crazy. That's right. Crazy. That's just crazy. So I don't be caring about shit. Man. I'm big school for real. That's my next tape name. To be honest, I don't think there's My next any... tape, I'm finna drop a tape. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm finna drop a tape. I'm finna drop a tape in February called Big School, man. What if your kid was listening to 6 9 6 9 Shit. I know it's kind of unrealistic these days, but... I wouldn't, I wouldn't knock him, but shit. Sure. You I taking would... a million to do a song with him? <laughs> 6 9 Yeah. Mm-mm. Fuck that shit. I'll make an M another way, bro. I swear to God. Niggas be rats, fuck. I ain't fuck with no rats, bro. Honestly, I would probably wouldn't do it with you if I was you either. I got motion again. Kodak yeah. is so big that he can kind of like skate past the controversy. I got, I got you, motion you're, again. You're that popping. shit will kill your career again. I ain't gonna lie, I got motion. That's why I say my castle turn. Why would I do that? All right, all right, you say that, you see that, right? Yeah. That's a good offer. That's a good offer. That's yeah. a good offer, I swear to God. I am, right? I am to do a song with the rat is a good offer. But the real nigga in you better not take it. I don't know why Kodak took it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a good offer, though. Like, that ain't, that'll make you go home and think for a day or two. But the real nigga in you better say, hell no. Nah. You know? Mm. Type shit. You know? But, guys, niggas think different and shit. Man. It is what it is. That yeah. shit ain't kill his career, though. Shit. Yeah. Well, we don't <laughs> know yet. Yeah, God, I ain't had a hit since. He ain't killed his career. It's only been a couple yeah, months. Yeah. Like, he just drops some shit. And another thing about crazy. life, on career grade, another thing about life that people understand, I'm touched to the world. Shit only be get to talk about. It's so much shit that happen every day. Yeah. You only gonna get talked about for a day to two. That yeah. shit, and then it's gone. The cycle gone, right? You don't hear nothing about the Kodak and 6 9 shit, right? No. You know how he's still making money off that song, right? It's still I generating mean, every a day. A week after that came out, it was old news. Do you like, know, do you know his it. money's still generating off that song every day, right? Yeah. Because what? And it was for a vape it's New company. streams, right? Everybody, yeah. it's people that listen to that shit, bro. Not uh, saying it like that, but that's why he probably didn't kill. But he ain't, that ain't no real nigga shit, though. I don't know what the fuck. For sure. All right, anybody you want to shout out? Uh, this has been a dope interview, and I know that yeah, you're probably going to get a lot of people... Tuning into this one. Shout out my label, man. Shout out for them. Big school in the game. Um, shout out to them. Fuck, I'm locked in with for real. You know what it is. My heart big for you, man. We done came a long way. We don't know the jumper. Hey, these niggas ain't gonna shoot shit. They ain't got no jumpers, though. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never shot shit. Man. I think there might be something wrong with your water. No. Arrowhead not. is not supposed to be orange. <laughs> it's dropping. Huh? Yeah, it's, Drop of drop of water. Uh, it's oh. lean. Okay, I'm playing dumb. It's lean. Shout out to Remo. It's lean. It's lean. No uh, jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. No jumper. Dot com if you want to support. Shout out my man Remo and everybody. Go turn up to MAF Tiski.